under their roof, and right now sellers don't have to disclose that meth was made there. It has many street names, ice, crystal, glass, meth. A hardcore illegal drug that is everywhere. No community is, is immune from this. You see it in the headlines, cops busting meth labs, dangers long after the stories fade. The typical on the street profile might be, you know, something more like a trailer. We've had homes that are, you know, 3,500 square foot, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollar and up homes. No matter the social economic status, the one thing the homes have in common, contamination from toxic chemicals. Future home buyers and renters may be none the wiser. If your basement's leaking, you have to disclose that. But a former meth lab? There's nothing that requires a homeowner uh, or a landlord to disclose when they sell that house. In Franklin County alone, there are 17 former meth homes listed on the DEA National Registry. Homes from the hilltop to Westerville. This house on Sowers Drive in Canal Winchester exposed in a meth bust in 2009. The man who bought it a year later wasn't aware of its dangerous history. A woman living at this apartment on Thelma Drive in Obetz didn't know until a neighbor told her about a former meth operation 10 years ago. The similar case for the woman renting this house on Breivet Avenue, which made the DEA registry in 2004. Folks are renting homes and buying homes, and they don't know this, uh, and, and that's a concern. The dangerous chemicals used to cook meth stick around long after the lab is gone. They seep into the walls, the carpets. And experts say a simple cleaning solution like bleach won't do the trick. So we just as dangerous 30 days later than that first day. Crisis Cleanings, Rick Willemont wouldn't walk into a meth home without first stepping into a special suit to protect his entire body. Willemont says the health risks are far too great. Asthma, um, kidney disease, um, actually inhaling, ingesting some of the residue that may still be on the walls, um, potentially cancer. Specific testing pinpoints hot zones. I placed our 100 square centimeter template onto the living room wall. For methamphetamine residue that has no boundaries. You see the kids' rooms, and the kids were right, you know, right on the walls. You see all the kids' stuff there. So these kids were living in the home while the meth lab was in production, and you know. We get the results back, and I see these high levels in the kids' room. It's kind of heartbreaking. A difficult job that comes at a huge expense, sometimes in the thousands. But Senator LaRose says it's worth every cent. We want them to be able to do what's right, get the house safe again. Until it's law to disclose meth homes, buyers and renters beware. Senator LaRose is working to make sure new homeowners know that meth was made in a house. He also wants the Ohio Department of Health to develop cleaning standards for former meth homes. Tara Morgan, Fox 28 News. Well, Senator LaRose says the meth home bill will be introduced this week. Well, we kicked off a new work week with...